think it's a boy. Seven pounds, six ounces. Oh, answer. Huh? Hi. Wait, do you mind if I do one quick FaceTime for you? Are you all ready? Yes. Are you ready? To meet your... Uh... Hello. It is 7.17, and we are going to surprise my sister Jade and her husband. They're about to leave to go to the hospital to have a baby. Now, while we are all thinking of how we are doing all the new things in our lives that are our new reality, she is literally having a baby in the middle of all of this. So we're just trying to support them and just show them love in any way we can. You guys know that my family means everything to me. Kyle's the same way. Like we're just, we're family people. And all of the hospitals for good reason have made the rules that only one person can go back with each patient. So that would obviously be her husband. So none of us can be at the hospital. So Kyle said, you know what we should do is we should surprise them as they're coming out to leave to the hospital. So that's what we're gonna do. And she is being induced at 39 weeks. So she, the baby had some complications that are eventually gonna be fine, but because of a, just some different things, they are inducing tonight. I've never had an induction before, so I don't know how that goes. But we're just really excited. So we got two baby boys in the back past our bedtime and it might mess him up a little bit but it's like these kind of things are so important that's what I love about Kyle he always makes a point to make these things happen too okay so now we're just sitting out back and we're waiting for them to walk out I don't know why I'm whispering it's just the whole like secret thing I guess you just feel like you gotta whisper the whole time and I got two sleeping babies so it's literally pouring down rain Oh, here they come. What are you gonna do though? What's the plan? Oh no, the light came on. And that's where he learns that word, Kyle. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't let you go! Don't hug us, don't hug us, don't! Just don't! <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to say we're so excited. One last look at the baby. We just been talking off camera. We're so excited. All right, how are you feeling, Jade? I'm just so nervous. I'm so scared. But I'm it's excited. so exciting. I know. I know. All right, Uncle Gaff. Love you guys. I love you. Last night was so fun and we surprised them and it was so special and I'm so glad that we did that. We brought the babies home, put them to bed and Kyle and I ate dinner and then we went to sleep. So through the night, everything has progressed well. She is, now her water's been broke and everything and she's like progressing, everything's good. So they're thinking possibly by this afternoon, so. It is 10.50 right now. We actually just got back from a really long walk. We've really been enjoying long walks. Hi. That's a good part of all of this is that things slow down and it allows us or anyone that has trouble just slowing down themselves to slow down a little bit. There's so much just sadness in all of it that, you know, there are people that won't make it through this and there are people that are losing jobs and all of that but you know if you can look at one of the one of the things that could be good it's that we're spending more time with our family so we're in this situation might as well make the best of it and we're having a baby today in the middle of all this situation too so what do you think about when it? are we gonna have a baby oh here we go do you guys think that there's gonna be the corona baby boom that's what everybody's talking about how everybody that's like locked up together <laughs> that apparently there's gonna be a baby boom. Easy, Mallory. <laughs> That's what it's saying on the news it said it. I know, I know. But you know what's really scary is yesterday, we were walking out in the open and there was a guy with like full mask, gloves, everything. And- he pulled up over him. What, a hood pulled up, everything. And he was outside. So, you know, I've been seeing on the news that and everything that it was okay to walk outside. I haven't seen anyone. I was like, does he have it? 
Like, why is he so covered odd. up outside? It was, it was really odd. So maybe I've just missed the memo, but that scared me. Because, I mean, he was like way in a distance. No one was around him within, I mean, it, it, it was far. So I was just confused. We've just got the highs of this baby, the lows of what's going on around us, and then us trying to navigate our business just around it and all of that. And, you know, we, Kyle and I, always make a commitment to only bring brands that we really believe in and that we feel like will really benefit our audience to our add audience. Value to people's lives. To add value to people's lives, things that we really love. We turn down more deals, which equals turning down money. You wouldn't believe how much we say no to. So even more so in this time where I know people are losing jobs and Life is not the same. I'm only bringing um, brands to you guys and, and content that can help you during this time. Here, I just made it. Ford is trying a, what is this one? Passion fruit. Ford is doing a pineapple passion smoothie. Hey. Mm. Mm. Oh, heck yeah. He's a real passionate guy. Oh, well, here comes another passionate guy. Well, Kyle, what's yours? You. I am overflowing with passion. I need no drink. You don't have to give me this. You can have it. No, it's good. You go ahead. Yum. How well, good I is feel that? like I'm on the dang beach. I know. I've been washing all of the teething toys because even though like we don't think that we have it, I mean, it's just like it seems like it lays dormant for a long time for a lot of people so you don't know so Shepard's putting literally everything in his mouth so um, I'm washing all these toys that are laying around you know what else I'm thankful for that backstock of things so I found this under my sink I had these like glass things because they looked pretty that I got forever ago from Grove I think and I realized I ordered these off of Amazon forever ago. I don't even know what the brand is. Puracy? I don't know what that is. But one refills dishwashing detergent and one refills hand soap. So thank goodness because I was like, oh no! What am I gonna do? Cause Look at these two lovers. Thank you. I'll get one. That one's yours. That one's yours. Yeah. No, that one's yours. Alright, I'll do one more. Thank you. <laughs> One more. <laughs> so sweet. One good thing about doing um, home edit stuff. Look at this. Thank the Lord. I have this back stock. Like I had it just to kind of make the cabinets look good. I never thought we would be in our homes like this. It is now 4.30 in the afternoon. Still no baby. But I just have been able to FaceTime my sister kind of throughout the day. She's doing so awesome. You always think that you know how people are gonna do in certain high stress situations. And then all of a sudden someone will like totally shock you that they, not that she did, I didn't think she would handle it well, but I thought, oh gosh, you know, she'll be nervous and, and, and it'll hurt and she'll be, she's like a rock star. She's crushing it. This is what family dinners look like at this point in time in life. Shepard's even eating with his spoon. Here for Four to spoon. So it is now 10 o'clock. We're assuming that the baby is born and we're just waiting to hear. Oh, I'm so nervous. I just like want him to call so bad. It's been like such a roller coaster all day long. Oh my gosh. I think it's a boy. Seven pounds, six ounces. Oh, answer. Huh? Hi. Wait, do you mind if I do one quick FaceTime for you? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? To, to, to meet your uh, godson? Oh. Hey, little man. Oh my goodness, little sweetie. Oh my 
god. <laughs> How beautiful. How oh big is it? Oh my god. Sorry. So he's doing his, uh, his. He's doing awesome. Everything's great. Oh my god. Yeah. Everything's great. <laughs>